Okay, it's Mark Weens here. I am in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, yeah. and about to chow down on nyama choma, which is roasted meat. This is mbuzi choma, which is goat. Oh, okay. Hi, yeah. You basically show up at a spot like this, you choose whatever cut of meat you want, they slice it right off the goat, and then you wait for about an hour as they grill it up on the grill. So they have, and then they slice it up once it's ready. Here is a pile of roasted nyamachoma, East African style. There's even the tail. We even got the tail, and it's looking amazing. So let me grab my first chunk of goat and dip it a little bit into the chili sauce. Oh. That is delicious. Mm. That's nice and tough and gamey, but that is all natural right there. It's definitely a bit on the chewy side, but that's purely grass-fed grain. Hmm. Safi kabisa. Safi kabisa. That's just delicious goat right there. That's got some excellent texture to it and delicious. It's such a natural grass flavored meat. It's just so natural. So delicious. Yeah, I could use a little chili as well. This is... I grew up eating a lot of nyama choma when I lived in Kenya. So, every time I come back to East Africa, I've gotta eat up my nyama choma. There's so much texture and flavor to this goat. But it does definitely work your jaw pretty well. It's like a workout for your mouth, eating nyama choma. But well worth it. But you definitely need a... Uh, uh, a toothpick to clean out your teeth once they're done. But delicious. Yeah.